Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to bring you guys, you guessed it, a first look at the new, the latest Super Mario update for Animal Crossing items. Look at Poppy being cute in the back. Once again, um, I have a first look for you. Obviously you can see I got a delivery and before you ask, these items are time locked. Well, all the Mario items are time locked, I should say. They will show up in your Nook Shopping under the promotion tab starting March 1st in real time. And yes, that is time zone specific. So before you ask how I got these items, um, only people with hacked switches will have them available. And there are a ton of places where you can purchase the sets, Etsy, Instagram, you know, that's where I got these items. Uh, you will be able to do so yourself starting March 1st. So I'm going to go set these items out for you. I haven't seen them myself either, so we will take a first look at it together. We're all set. And a little bit of an agenda. I'm going to start off with some of the non-Mario items, which you can see right here. A few Japanese items, a few St. Patty's Day items, and then we're going to get right into it. And we're also going to do an indoor showcase for the flooring and wallpaper that are available. Now, this Japanese item is available now. It's called the Henaningo, pardon my pronunciation. And that will be in the seasonal tab of your Nook Shopping, and that will alternate between that and the Blossom Lantern you see right here. So if you have a Japanese-themed island, this is incredibly perfect for you. Super cute. Look at the details. Um, and you can even see there's a little Blossom Lantern on the top of the doll stand. And starting, I believe, in March real time, you will have this... Pi for Pi Day, March 14th. Yay for all you math nerds out there. And as you can see, I'm holding the Shamrock Shake, which you can cheers with, similar to the cider of New Year's. It's very cute. You can see the little, that whipped cream looks really good and the little like Shamrocks on the side. There are some St. Patty's Day clothing items as well as indoor items we will see later on. But without further ado, are you guys excited? We're going to jump into the pipe and hopefully um, we get to where we want to go. Amazing. So now we're ready to showcase the Mario items. Unfortunately, it brought me on this side. I'm just going to pick this up for now so I can show you. So over here, we have a balloon that I'm not going to get. As you can see, that is the question mark block, which is super cute. It floats and every time you go under it, a little coin pops up. And in front of it, you have the the star. How cute is that? Um, I forget the exact name. And I know you guys are going to wonder if these are catalogable. I don't know right now since they haven't popped up in my catalog despite me having touched them. But I don't think they will be, nor do I think these are customizable. Let me know also your experience with Super Mario games. I definitely loved Super Mario Odyssey. And I didn't get to play any really in my childhood. So after the floating question mark block, you have the normal floating block. And what I've heard is really cool is check this out. Do I have anything I can place? I don't think I can place. Okay, check this out. You can place small items on top of the block. This is going to be a game changer for like forced perspective views. Like let me know what you guys think you'll do with this new addition. So now that I set my drink down, we have a normal block, normal non-floating block, and this is the coin. And how cool is this? Watch. You just walk through it and it disappears. And then it comes back. When I first put it down, I thought, oh no, are these like one-time use coins? So this is super adorable. I think this would be super cute to make some sort of like Mario themed playground or arcade on your island. Let me know where you guys' plans are and also where you plan on putting your pipes. So with the pipes, you can have more than two. And if you do have more than two, your warp location will be a random location. But I think that is super awesome. And right here you have a fire flower. Nothing happens when you interact with it, but still super cute. And behind me is the goalpost. And when you interact with it, it changes owners. So I think that's awesome. And then over here we have the large mushroom uh, 
parasols. I forget what they're called exactly, but they come in blue, green, and red. I kind of wish there was a way to jump on them. I know I'm not, now I'm getting into like wishing this was a Mario game, but still, they look similar to the mushroom partition. So if you have some sort of mush forest on your island, this will be great for you because there's also the little versions, the small mushrooms in pink, green, and yellow. And over here we have the uh, one-up mushrooms. So if you listen, they make a little sound. They make different sounds and they come in red and blue, red and green, excuse me. And to the left you have the red and green shells. Oh my gosh, I didn't know they, they spun when you interacted with them. How cool is that? I kind of wish you could sit on them, like kind of like you can sit on the shell stools. But hey, that's awesome that it spins and obviously you see angry thwomp over there just doing his thing and that's pretty much it for the items that are not like flooring or wallpaper for mario uh let me know what you guys think i think these are such cool items i'm super pumped for this update and let me go to the move to the interior showcase the beauty of this is you can carry a pipe with you and currently I have two installed, but if you only had one installed and say you were building an area and you can keep the other one in your house, it'd be quick access to your storage. Hopefully this one takes me to my house. Nope. And here we are. So obviously you can see this is the mushroom mural wallpaper. Oh, and I forgot to take down my mushroom wreath. How fitting in this painting as well. My, my storage is currently full. So this you will get in the mail. You should have gotten already if you installed the update uh, from Nintendo. And over here you can see a shamrock door plate for St. Patty's Day. And as you can see, you can put the pipe in your house which is really cool. And this is the cloud rug, the like to's cloud rug. I don't know if I can say it correctly. The shamrock rug, which I think looks super great. As well as Yoshi's egg rug. I think these are super cute rugs. What are you guys gonna do with them? There we go. Now you can see all three of the update rugs in one shot. And obviously I'm wearing a Princess Peach outfit with the crown and you can't see but I'm wearing peach shoes right now. Now there is one DIY of this update and it is a wand DIY. It's the shamrock wand and you can make it with three weeds and three star fragments and this is what it looks like. So super cute very in the spirit of St. Patty's Day. So let me now show you guys the outfits that are included in this update. First up is the St. Patty's Day outfit, which I think looks super cute. They really went in for the details here, how the wand matches like your glasses and the, the little shamrock on your hat. And it's interesting that the pants are a little cropped so you can if you have socks you want to show off, you'll be able to show that off as well. So shamrock outfit, which is the hat, the glasses, the shoes, and the outfit. Next up, it's a me, a Mario. And obviously this includes the Mario stash, which changes your nose to this very gigantic round Mario nose. You have the classic hat and of course the red and blue overalls and the very round shoes. So again, a four piece outfit. Next up is Mario's brother, Luigi. And you can see that the mustache is different and the shoes are a slightly different color. So the fact that they went into this level of detail to design the uh, different outfits, I think is awesome. Last but not least, it's Wario. And I had to check for a second because those shoes look like it could be uh, St. Patty's Day shoes. But look what they did with the mustache and how it even... It like sticks out on the side and the massive pink nose. I think they did a really great job with these costumes. 
And that's it for the update. Let me know um, what you guys think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And uh, my stats show that about 90% of my viewers are from people who are not subscribed. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton and it prevents you from missing out on these uh, first look on the update items for the next update. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a lovely day.